Hi everyone, I'm Riley from Echidna Sewing. Welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute embroidered baby bibs. These baby bibs are super cute and very easy to make and you can personalize them with embroidery of names or animals. I'll be embroidering this design here today, which you can find for free on our website. We also have a pack of 10 designs available, which includes this design here. So check that out as well. The machine I'm using in this video is the NV180, which does both sewing and embroidery. Here is everything else that I'm going to need, but you can check out the full list down below. Now let's get into it. To start with, make sure you have downloaded your pattern pieces from the project page on our website and cut them out. You'll notice that there are two sizes, small and medium. So choose whichever one you want. I'll be using the medium size for this video. I will also be embroidering this bib today, but if you don't want to, feel free to skip ahead to the next chapter. You'll need to cut out a rectangle that is big enough for you to embroider on and cut out your pattern afterwards. I am using a 4x4 hoop, so I'm going to cut out a piece that is approximately 12 inches by 12 inches. If you have a bigger hoop, cut your fabric piece to suit your hoop size. Before we hoop our fabric up, I'm going to just grab some chalk and mark the center point of my design with a cross. Now I am going to be embroidering closer to the bottom of my fabric piece as that's where it will sit according to my pattern. So my center mark needs to be six inches from the side and about four inches up from the bottom. I'm just going to mark a cross. Now I can hoop up my fabric and stabilizer using the marks on the hoop to make sure that my cross is centered and straight. Once you've hooped up, you can start stitching. Once your embroidery is done, we need to tear away the excess stabilizer and iron it flat. Now you can cut out your pattern piece. Because the pattern is a cut on the fold and you can't really fold an embroidery design in half, I'm just going to take my friction pen and trace each half of the pattern onto the fabric and then cut it out. If you find that after you trace out your pattern piece, your embroidery design is a little off center or slanted as mine is here, the good thing about using a friction pen, is you can just iron it off and try again. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out. All right, and while I'm here, I'm also just going to mark out the button or snap closures up the top here. On both sides. You'll also need to cut one piece of the pattern from your second fabric and one piece from your towel fabric. Once you've cut out all of your pattern pieces, I'm going to switch over my machine from embroidery mode to sewing mode and then we can start sewing everything together. Once you have all of your pattern pieces, grab your embroidered piece and your towel and align them wrong sides together. Okay. 
Then you just want to pin or clip them to secure them together. As you can see, I'm using quite a few pins for this due to the curves of the pattern piece. It just ensures that none of my pieces will move when I'm sewing around the curves. Sew the tail to the embroidered piece using a straight stitch and an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Now when stitching around curves, I like to take it nice and slow. If you need to, you can stop sewing. Place your needle into the fabric, raise the presser foot, just move your fabric Lower your press foot and you can continue sewing. Now grab your second pattern piece and align it right sides together with the embroidered piece, making sure that the embroidery is enclosed within the two pieces. Then pin or clip to secure. Once you've pinned it together with your friction pen, you want to mark about a two and a half inch gap at the bottom. We're going to leave this gap open when we sew these pieces together so we can turn our baby bib right side out. Now you can sew the pieces together with a straight stitch and a quarter inch seam allowance, making sure you leave that gap open. Once you've sewn those two pieces together, you then want to clip some notches within the seam allowance to reduce the bulk along the curves, making sure that I don't cut into the stitches. Now you can turn your baby bib right side out, and I'm going to use the purple fang just to push out the corners and the curves. Then you want to press it flat with your iron, but making sure you tuck in the turning hole before you press it. I'm going to press my baby bib from the wrong side, as if I pressed it from the side with the embroidery, you can run the risk of melting the embroidery. can top stitch around the entire perimeter of the bib, making sure that you stitch the turning hole shut in the process. Now the last step is to attach the button and create our buttonhole. I'm going to start by creating the buttonhole and then I'm going to attach the button with the button sewing foot. If you need help with either of these techniques, we do have videos on both of these topics you can refer to.
and you're done. That's how you can make a reversible embroidered baby bib. If you're interested in any of the products that we use in this video, you can check out our website for more information. And don't forget to tag us on Instagram so we can see your creations too. Thanks for watching and happy sewing. <laughs>